Hey, I'm Animated Outcast, and I got a new camera, as you can tell. It's very pretty. It's not a webcam, so my recording for this video is going to be a little all over the place. Hopefully I can put it all together well enough. That was a crappy intro. I feel like I just kind of rushed through the whole thing, but I'm going to try to make this video relatively short because I'm not entirely sure how long the battery on my camera is going to last. So let's just get into it. Oh, why am I on the options screen? Episode 2, Anthology, continue. I almost clicked restart. That would have sucked. Oh yeah, we're going to paint Madame Thernhart, and uh, we're not going to get her naked. We're not, we're not going to strip Thernhart. The people have spoken. The person has spoken. Thank you, Jesse. Madame Thernhart? Schnooker? I want to paint you. Please meet me at my workshop at Hollandstrasse 10. How exciting! I will be there soon. Achievement unlocked. Theater expert. Expert? I don't know how this makes me an expert in anything. Back to my workshop. Running, 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 running. Knock, knock. The stage is set. All the props are in their expected places. Madam Thernhart, a veiled woman, enters stage left. Please have a seat, Madam Thernhart. A lovely tune by Diorth is quietly played in the background. Madame Thernhart sits and demurely arranges her skirt. She speaks. You look so tired, Schnuckel. I noticed it in the market, too. Are you well? I... I haven't been sleeping. Would you like to postpone? I'm at peace when I paint. Very well. Is this how you would have me pose? Will you remove the veil, please? I wore it for the street only. I still have my vanity, I'm afraid. There now. No artifice. No subterfuge. I am as you see me. This is the woman I must paint. Yes, this is the woman I must paint. Just imagine her a few pounds lighter, would you? Your voice. You remind me of a surgeon. So calm, it won't hurt, will it? You promise me? I promise. May I ask you questions while I paint? Now you sound like Freud. Do you know Freud? I know of him, of course. He has helped me many times. I seem to collect neuroses like souvenirs. From the characters I play. Oh, I just realized something. There we go! Better lighting. Wow. Sorry. Five minutes in. Great. From the characters I play. Hours later. Oh, this is going to be a good painting. Act 2. The young painter looks haggard. His model looks as fresh as a tulip bud. No younger actress can hold a candle to you. Oh, you think so, Schnuckel? What does Schnuckel mean? Does that mean something? Or is that just a, like one of those cutesy made up words? Like bay. What is your favorite role? Nora in Ibsen's A Dollhouse. 
A strong woman ahead of her time, Henrik told me who wrote Hedda for me. But she was a milksop. I would much I would much rather make my exit with a door slam instead of a pistol shot. Also, I was a bit too old for the part by then. What is your principal vice? Schnuckle, really? What kind of question is that to ask a lady? Oh, never mind. I'm an actress, not a lady. Uh, sex, alcohol, and gambling. So, are we asking her what her addiction is then? That sort of thing? Is it gambling? I've only gambled on love. Once I thought I'd won. But it wasn't to be. Alcohol? Drink can be a convivial companion of the moment. But it will never be a friend. Is it sex? Sex delightful. But it's not a vice. It's a necessity. Like breathing or eating or good reviews. That sounds like a vice. What is it then? Why, gluttony, of course. I'm surprised you can paint me, and still need to ask. A few more hours later. Act 3. The actress feels the layers of her psyche being peeled back like an artichoke. One of many vegetables she hates. A propuls? When we met at the market, You said you knew my granddad. Were you and my granddad in love? That's not a question I'm prepared to answer, Schnuckle. I'm almost finished. And... You are a wonderful model. Why do you hesitate? I'm missing something. I've seen more layers with you than any of my earlier models, but I know I'm missing something. Is this why you can't sleep? It's worse than that. I have blackouts, and I have this feeling that I'm empty. I have no layers at all. Sorry, I heard barking. Doggies. I'm one of three sisters. I don't understand. No, my sisters are strong, admired great women. It was easy to tell when we were children. They were destined for great things. I was not. But you are a great actress. Actress. To many in Vienna society, there is no such thing. Many think us little better than whores. There is no in-between. This is new. My god, it's new! It is not new. It has been that way for ages. No, I see more. No! Come back! No! It's gone! I've lost it! It's gone. Curtain. Oh man. Hours later, I finished the painting at dawn. Now it is near dawn again. I've lost an entire day. And my fate awaits me. Boy, he looks tired. The following morning. Wayne Stats. 
Um, is my painting still at the workshop, or is it already hanging in the salon again? Easel? It's empty, yes. So my painting will have magically made its way somewhere. I guess. Unless I have it in my magical pockets. Running, 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 running. We're there! Hey, hey, it's that Klimt guy that looks like a cult leader with that robe. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We can't see it. Up. Oh. Um. What? Did I paint that? Herr Klimt, please excuse my appearance. You look terrible, Marquette. Whatever is the matter? I'm tired. Just a little tired. Tired? Would you allow me to paint you? I'll call it the Walking Dead. The painting. What? What do you think, my boy? How you go? How you got our greatest actress to pose like that? I'll never know. Is it so dreadful? Dreadful. It's brilliant. Your growth between this painting and your last is amazing. Have you seen Fräulein Lornixack? I doubt she knows how to handle it. My speech is impaired today. I do apologize. Ah. That'll do it. I doubt she knows you brought another painting. I'll telephone her. Fräulein, are you... All right. I'm not sure. You really don't look well. What happened to you? I had a blackout. More than once. What do you mean? I lose hours. They're just blank. When does this happen? After every painting? You need a doctor. I just need some sleep. No. You need Freud. Freud! The musical! No, it's not a musical. Dr. Freud's office. Just keep talking. Oh shit, I don't know what Freud sounded like. About what? Anything that comes to your mind. Pictures, words, stories. I see people in layers. You mean like onions? <laughs> people are like onions. They have layers. No! What do these layers look like? It depends on the layers. Some look like the person, some look entirely different. More like a symbol. It's hard to describe. Naturally. If it were easy, you wouldn't need me. They shift in and out of my perception. What do you think they stand for? Aspects of their personalities? Do you see your own layers? No. Why not? I don't have any. Rubbish. I've never been able to see them. Ah, that's different. Do you see layers in people? I wouldn't call them that. What do you call them? We're not here to discuss me. We're here to discuss you. I don't know what you want me to say. Many of my patients find it hard to talk about themselves. What do you do? I kick the furniture after they leave. <laughs> Does that help? 
No, it hurts like hell. But it's better than me kicking them. If they won't talk, how can I help? I've had blackouts. Wonderful! No, no, they aren't. Wonderful that you're talking. Not the blackouts. What typically happens on days when you lose time? I paint my portraits. Do you talk to your models? Ask about their lives? Yes, it helps reveal their layers. Naturally! You're psychoanalyzing them. A few days later, have we been here that whole time? Now, let's pick up where we left off. In the last session, you paint your portraits. What happens after your patients leave? I guess I black out. I spoke with Madame Thernhardt. What did she say? She mentioned... Wait, wait! Something just happened. Please share it. I want to be excited too. I saw a layer, my layer, reflected in my glasses. Me symbolically seeing into your soul. I'm not even looking at you. Your glasses. I'm not even looking at you. I'm staring at the ceiling. I don't see layers. Well, that's disappointing. Where did you see it? Right there above. Around me. A secret desire, perhaps. My own lair. That's the first time. What did Madame Thernhart tell you? She wondered about the second easel in your workshop. What second easel? It has a canvas on it, covered by a sheet. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, in that case, I won't suggest you go immediately to your workshop and rip off that sheet. You're not making any sense. My god, it just happened again. I saw another of my layers. Go to your workshop, Markert. Rip off that sheet. If you can. It's all downhill from there. Running, 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 running. Oh, that's Freud's office. Cool. No easel. The layers, they're gone? What? Have I lost my mind? It... It's me. My god. I've been trying... Trying to find my layers. But I saw them. They're there. Is this what I've been painting during my blackouts? I tried to find the layers that resonate with me. It's far from complete. Time to finish this. But no rushing at this time. A hastily painted figure. Music's really picking up. It's hard to make out what exactly it's supposed to be. No wonder. Past weeks have been... rather unpleasant. Finally, at the salon. Then the critique. Shit. Hey! Sorry about the, um... Sorry about the technical difficulties. The camera died. Uh... So, this camera doesn't have a very long battery life. Like, I can record for about 20 minutes 
before it dies. So I'm not going to be using this camera for gameplays. Um, I'm going to go back to using my webcam. This little guy. Oh, he's still hooked in. So yeah. Next time we'll be picking up probably around where we left off. I'm not sure where it last saved. Uh, <laughs> let me know what you thought of this travesty in the comments below. Leave a like if you thought it was salvaged relatively well. Come back for more, subscribe, etc. I am Animated Outcast, and thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this piece of garbage. Thank you.